Hello and welcome back to another Hometown Highlights with me, Shane Cardinal. Today we are joined by the amazing entertainer, Busty Cookie. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? Oh, good, Shane. How are you? I'm doing great. We have these interviews on a roll and I got to see you in episode two of Slag Wars this past mm-hmm. weekend. So tell me about what you do. Tell me, tell me and my viewers as well as people that are coming from your page and stuff. What is it that you do for work? So I am an adult entertainer. I work on like uh, babe shows and I first started on the babe shows and then went on to doing adult porn. Well, I've always been a model from a young age, like 18, I started modeling. And then it just kind of progressed into other stuff. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you sent me earlier a list of uh, your accomplishments and it's quite a list of things. You have over like five different networks you've worked for and uh, publications and a nomination Probably list more than like, five though. Definitely <laughs> That's more than five. Like yeah, there's just a few there. <laughs> But your nominations is insane. There's like 48, 50 plus nominations on here. What is it that's your your niche? Do you have a, like a niche market that you, like well, Sophie's is built in? Well, it's called BBW, and... which is Big Beautiful Woman. And so basically that is the niche for bigger girls. And okay. I've kind of been leading that niche in the UK for a long time because I've been doing it a while. So I'm definitely yeah. a veteran in my league, so... Um, and then I took that to America, got some jobs out there. I won an award the first time I went out there. And then it just kind of went boom, <laughs> crazy. Right. Everyone was like on the cookie. <laughs> on, on the cookie they train. They wanted a piece of the <laughs> they, Yes. It's like Gustavo eating those cookies in the confessionals. Yeah, they like, wanted a bite. <laughs> I love it when he eats the food. I'm like, oh. It's so funny. <laughs> So speaking of Gustavo and Slag Wars, you were just on this last episode. And I think, yeah. let me play a little clip actually from this. And it's you talking about your kinks. And Busty, what about you? I oh, know wow. you are super kinky. I'm a dom for one, yeah. so I don't do any subbing. I'm not into getting beats myself. <laughs> <laughs> so of course uh, I like face sitting, squishing my boobs, smothering. Oh. So that's like my speciality. Being in front of Emily and Cookies, like oh my god i can even feel like a little bit of pressure because they're very like strong feminine boss woman all my subs are into kind of mild domination um and slowly pushing boundaries further the safe word is really for extreme play i i don't know i, I feel a little bit intimidated thank you so much emily and Bossy. That's the funniest thing I ever see. Because I'm saying he feels intimidated and then munching on that food. Oh my god, he's hilarious. How was that it was working funny. with um with the cast of Slag Wars? And you've known Sophie and Rebecca, or I've known Rebecca the longest because like she's been in the industry same time as me, kind of. I've probably been in a bit longer than her, but it's cool. And um, she used to date one of my porn star friends called James Blaine, and. I used to hang out with him in Soho in Clone Zone. I would always hang down there. It's like one of the, the Soho area. And okay. um, so, yeah, he, I don't know why. I just used to hang out in the game shop. <laughs> it's fun. Because we used to work there. So like, I would hang there, try all the toys and just talk to all the people that come in. And they used to love me because we used to have so much fun. And then like, he told me he was dating Rebecca. And I was like, oh, my God, I know Rebecca. I've been in a couple yeah. of films that she's been in, but we've never been in the same scene. And it was just like really sweet. And I think I met her like several times before that at parties and we met each other like a few times. So yeah, I've known Rebecca the longest. And then I met Sophie not, uh, a few years back and she was at one of the parties and she was quite new. So I was like, it's so cool to see her. She's so out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the booms. <laughs> right, right. She was wearing like, all this like pretty outfit and she looks so cute and she's so nice and she was so nice to my family as well because they were with me at the party and my sister it's amazing her. yeah so how was it working on the challenge with gustavo and nikki for the oh, foot nice. fetish challenge so great gustavo and nikki are amazing people i love them both i kind of bonded with them a lot especially kevin too um they were like the first three people that I was like, yeah, we bonded like that. And it was just like, yeah. I, was like I knew them all forever, you know? So we were just chatting away and also- Are you a smoker? Do you smoke cigarettes? No, I don't. Oh. 
because they someone <laughs> no, noted that the smokers always have the strongest connection. That's why Nikki and Kevin must have connected. They said online. I noticed a couple. We of connected over that. porridge. Oh, Kevin. porridge. Okay. <laughs> so no, random i was like where's the water because there was no kettle and it was in the tap there was like a hot kettle tap it's so high tech that house what yeah I go there i want to go to this it's high tech. So i was bad. like where's the kettle and like and then kevin was like it's in the tap i was like what do you mean i don't want a hot water i want like boiling water yeah he's like no it's in the tap i was like okay but shout out into yeah. the mothership the mothership <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome, and so was like, foot stuff something you're you do in your work or was yeah, that just you I've just kind of knew? Yeah, before, yeah. And I'd done a lot of foot fetish shoots before with people asked me to do like customs for them for feet fetish all the time. So yeah, it's okay. that I do know about. Yeah, so, so it's I was easy like, to direct oh, this them, is the yeah. problem for me. They thought they were right. giving them the hard one, and I was just laughing because I was like, at least we got this. <laughs> we got this in the bag, right? I yeah. talked to Cameron earlier, and he had something to say about how Matthew didn't really direct him, but he was like, Busty and their team, she was telling them, do this, help them with that. So yeah. I we think have I chats. credit you a lot for that uh, that win uh-huh. there. <laughs> Cameron is now on team feet with Tyrese yes. now. So. <laughs> So speaking of Tyrese, there's a clip they show of you and them talking about what it's like for them being a person of color and working in the industry and being queer. Um, mm-hmm. Do you notice those same same kind of fetishizations? Yeah. Is that something you've I gone get through? I a lot of that. It's mainly more of a, a thing with other performers because they feel like because of, I don't know if it's because of my color or if it's because I'm good at what I do. I think they feel threatened by me and I feel um sometimes it's hard it really is okay do you think like you get less work because of your color or is it that kind of thing no I don't get that kind of thing it's more just jealousy okay (laughs) the haters kind of yeah yeah. (laughs) they always come for people at the top they want to claw at them but I'm like if why don't you just be my friend instead of being a bitch yeah <laughs> you right? know we all like, grow too if you weren't so nasty exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> i think it mostly happens with guys in the industry to be honest because like they're always fetched over the the size of the penis or so it, i think it, it's a more problem for guys and then you get these girls they're calling themselves no bunnies and it's like it's not appropriate really yeah okay it's, it's definitely an interesting like take weird, on things icky, icky. <laughs> Yeah. You've been in quite a few things. You've done quite a few work. You're a veteran, as you say. Is there something yeah. that you said is dom and sub that type of that's your that's something you like doing oh, most? Yeah. Or I'm just dominant. Okay. Can you not tell? Does that, <laughs> right. Does that carry over into that's your like... personal life as well, or you only do that in your work? Um, no, it's mostly my work. Um, okay. No, but my my personality is dom. Yeah. Okay. I'm more of the tell me what to do and I'll do it kind of person. So, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> right. This works out in so this you. works out in our professional relationship here. Me and Nikki yeah. already have plans for you. I know. Let's check out OnlyFans <laughs> in the next however long when quarantine's up. <laughs> Let's jump right into our rapid fire question round here, just to get to know each other a little bit. All right, first question. Who is your favorite slag on the show or off the show? Someone that's sex empowered that mean something to you oh okay on the show it's got to be Rebecca because okay. she's like the queen of slags she's like the queen <laughs> so I'm like nah she's like okay. awesome <laughs> um off the show let me think who would be the queen of slags ah I like Brooke Candy she's Brooke like the queen Candy's of slags amazing I love as her as a musician yes she's queen. so you're you're also a DJ you said Mm-hmm. I mix a lot of music, yeah. Okay, I have to I check like... out your set somewhere. What's your favorite song to listen to while you're having sex? Um, it's probably the one Tyree said, which is Kisses Down Low, but I also like the Robin Thicke album, because that's pretty sexy. Okay, I've also, only like, heard like a few. That, that, shit. that yeah, first I've... album. <laughs> it's good, trust me, just put it on. All right, I'll check it out. <laughs> What is your favorite part about being in the adult entertainment industry? Um, just all my friends that I've made through the industry, the traveling, the shows, and yeah, meet my fans. Okay. What is your least favorite part about being in the industry? The dick pictures and 
constant bombardment of questions and <laughs> well, not these questions, but you yeah. Know. <laughs> so people just as I would because I've never thought of it like that. So because you're in sex work, people just assume like, oh, she's open to receiving this. Well, type they of... just assume I'm not busy. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was just going to say that plays into consent that like people don't yeah. think of like that. They don't think I have a real life. Up. So yeah. She's always <clears throat> doing sex. Which is why I love doing these interviews because it gets to show everyone like, oh my God. I less like, sex than them. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you just interviewing porn stars? And I'm like, because this was the whole point to highlight people who have an aspect of life that never gets shown to the world. And I think that's kind of important. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your favorite musical artist other than Brooke Candy? Uh, I like, um, uh, what's, what's her name? Oh, I like a lot of people. It's just like, mostly I listen to Garage, so it's like mixture of eyes. Okay. So it's like, you know, MJ Core and stuff like that. So like, okay. it's like a mixture of like beats than an artist. So I listen to like EZ and like that kind of music so like house music and like party type of stuff no not house it's garage old school garage okay. I've, ne I've never heard <laughs> of that that genre thing. okay, garage. Yeah, okay. You have to look it up. it's great you're teaching me so much you have helped me and made me learn so much already oh yeah i'm a mentor for everybody That's <laughs> thank you <laughs> right right <laughs> if you could change anything about your life and go back would you and what would it be uh, meeting some bitches that piss me off. <laughs> okay. And helping You'd the wrong some people. people. If someone made a movie about your life, who would you want to play you in that movie? Queen Latifah. Okay. Jennifer nah. Hudson. Oh, and we are dream girls. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> you should play Jennifer Hudson dream in a movie. Girls. Should do you should do a Queen Latifah Jennifer Hudson uh porn parody of some sort. She sings too, so she could be Queen Latifah yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I sh did you see her on the show Star? No, I haven't seen it. I don't know if we'll forget that here. No, it's so good. It's Lee Daniels as well, I think. So it's it's like um Empire but different with girls, and okay. yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I have to look that up. Yeah, what is the first thing you think of when you wake up? Water, water. Not coffee like everyone else said. I bottle of water or we in. Okay. I gotta go Lou. <laughs> because of all the this water. This would be the first thing. Or why can't I go back to sleep? Because you went to bed at 10 o'clock in the morning. No, I went to bed at 6 in the morning, you mean? <laughs> it was 4 o'clock. You know I we stayed up to FaceTime And I was like, oh my God, it's 4 o'clock. I didn't even think One of that. Day, it's 4 o'clock my time. I stayed up as 48 hours, maybe 60 hours. <laughs> was that mania or drug induced no <laughs> yeah yeah vampire <laughs> i love it <laughs> if you were the eighth dwarf in snow white and the seven dwarves what would your dwarf name be bbw or busty <laughs> busty busty i like or that fatty, fatty you okay. know <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest turn off rude people oh, people that tweet things that I've no, it's the people that tag their self on Twitter on my feed, and then okay. I'm like, Why are you putting your picture up for your only fans? Oh my <laughs> I don't mind okay. if I know you, but like, I don't know you, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like annoying. <laughs> okay, what is your biggest turn on? It's nipples being sucked. Okay, when is this shoot happening? Because let's go, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm loving it. What is your favorite song to dance or perform to? It's Opulence by Brooke Candy, of course. And yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, that song is just like the Be song I like, dance everything. to. So anyway, okay. I dance to that song. And I performed it in Berlin at Venus Berlin show on stage. Ooh. I want to go to Berlin. I love Red Man Smash Something. And I performed that in Vegas at Hustler Club. And that was wicked. Look at you. Okay. Yeah, Going girl. all over the world. She's a traveling woman. <laughs> yep. I'm the traveler. <laughs> Vampire traveler. You're right. This is it. <laughs> I just say like, um, What is the most important thing to you in your life at the moment? Family. And, and why? my friends. But family, of course, because my mom's like so close to me. She's like everything. My sister oh. and brother. Okay. Everything to me. Because of 
we've just you know hard life together so gotta stay strong and be together yeah things yeah yeah if you could give a sentence of advice to your younger self what would it be don't take things too seriously and don't beat yourself up about how people feel about you if you could choose any superpower in the world what would it be um it would be the teleportation i hate traveling so i'd rather just be there or yep. uh, that yeah teleportation definitely that would solve so many problems in my life I lately could just be in your room right now we could do literally we could have been yep six feet apart with masks yeah no. <laughs> don't have to take the train you don't have to drive anywhere <laughs> no. um okay what fictional world would you like to live in like the second harry life. potter <laughs> zone the second life. Okay. i already live in one babe <laughs> okay um in the event of a zombie apocalypse who are three people you want on your side to help you through the end of the world? Uh, probably one of the girls from Drag Race. <laughs> Van G. <Jean>. Okay. <laughs> Could be that. <laughs> yeah. Can you just imagine? <laughs> I just pictured Vanessa Van G. Mateo in the middle of a zombie uh-huh. apocalypse. Like, you better stop. Yeah. Like, with a purse or something. Like, oh my God. And then Alyssa, because Alyssa Savage, one of my porn star friends, because she's okay. got these long claws that come out like this long. Okay. She'd just be Practical. stabbing people in the face, punching people. <laughs> okay. And then probably, who else? I don't know. So I need the Charlie's Angel. I don't know. Um, yeah. Cameron Diaz some, or someone. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Cameron Diaz. Not Lucy Lou. Come on now. Mm, no, Cameron <laughs> or Drew. <laughs> I don't like either of them in that movie. I feel like that's like the worst movie they've ever been in. It probably is. <laughs> like I can't. It's just so bad to me. But everyone else loves Charlie's Angels, and I'm I like, like it. I like the soundtrack too. <laughs> oh, the soundtracks are good, definitely. Yeah. All right. Um, if you could choose any other career other than the one that you're already in, would you? And what would it be? Yeah, probably. Uh, well, I might do it. I'm singing or something like that. Okay. Uh, I used to want to be a model, but that's just like probably not going to happen. We'll definitely we'll have to put out a song together or, or a something. drummer. A I drummer. Too. <laughs> I have no rhythm. I envy anybody that can play drums. So, oh my god. And then gosh. when I get, I'm going to get some more training on the drums. I'm actually pretty decent. What kind of style of music would you sing? Uh, well, I used to sing opera. Okay. <laughs> All then, right. Like, well, if I I'm was going to sing, I would full of sing here. garage. So okay. You haven't heard that style, but like, I know. I don't even know what that genre of music would sound like. I probably should have done my research. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and our last question: What is one thing that you want people to remember about Cookie? Um, In thirty years, people will say, "Oh, that, that Cookie. Um, she really." I light up the room when I come in, and make people's lives amazing when they meet me they're going to be their friend for life if you're my friend that is yeah just saying if not I definitely can relate to that because I'm you're like Cardi amazing. B you're mad forever <laughs> <laughs> or, if you be with me we be forever <laughs> yes uh, so what can we expect from Cookie coming up in the future anything planned yeah I'm going on Hopefully, if COVID allows, I'll be going to the Venus show and performing again there. And okay. I'll be going with a few performers, and I can't wait to do that. And um, hopefully, I can go to America again at some point. Um, that would be great. Yeah. Um, Amazing. Moment, that's mostly it. And I'm just working on all my OnlyFans and all the fun stuff. And my OnlyFans is onlyfans.com forward slash Bosty Cookie. Busty. All right, and where else, can, <laughs> where else can everyone find you on social media? Is it all Busty Cookie? Yeah, if, if you just Google Busty Cookie, it should come up. Or my Instagram is all the same name, Busty Cookie. And my website is BustyCookie.com. If you Google Busty Cookie, be prepared and please be 18 plus. <laughs> be prepared for this. Yeah. You, this is just going to be gone. <laughs> You have been amazing. And I want to thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview and thank everyone from um, Slag Wars, uh, Daddy Couture, Matt Camp, 
Rebecca Moore, Sophie yes, Anderson, the whole Slide Wars cast. Thank you for having me on the show. 